Hi everyone, it's Ashlyn Giza YouTube channel. Um, uh, thank you for all the new subscribers and um, the likes on my videos. I hope to get more. Um, I know I'll probably never be a famous YouTuber, but I figured that I'd just do this anyways to help people and um, relate with people and share my stories with people. Nonetheless, so today I'm going to talk about a really hard, very hard topic for me and probably for a lot of other people who have went through this. Um, today I'm going to talk about rape. So, and the, and the feelings that come along with it. So, um, uh, in my previous video I kind of talk about, um, how I had a lot of brothers and sisters and um, my parents were divorced and uh, they didn't really have time to like watch every move all of us made because there were six, six of us or no excuse me seven of us sorry I'm thinking six because my I have three brothers and three sisters and I'd be the seventh so but we have I have seven uh, they had seven kids all together, so they couldn't pay attention to where we were all at, whose friends' we houses we were at, you know, um, if we went to school that day or any of that. I mean, they tried their best they could, but kids will be kids. Teens will be teens. Um, I talk in previous videos about uh, my addiction to drugs and how I came through and beat that, but... Um, that kind of has to do with the story I'm about to tell you guys. So, let me get to it. Um, so, I was 13 years old, and um, I was hanging around a bad crowd. Now, I wouldn't say everybody in my crowd was bad, because some of them I still talk to, and... Um, some of them weren't bad people. They were just doing bad things and weren't making good decisions because we were little. Um, but nonetheless, so I hung around, though, more of the hardcore bad crowd when I was a kid. And in the 90s, you know, it was kind of a, like a trending thing to be a, a bad kid, at least where I live. <laughs> and um, it was cool to wear like the FUBU, the Tommy Hilfiger, um, you know, the Kelvin Klein and DK and Y and all that stuff. It was cool to, to wear. So, um, I was one of those people that wore that stuff and hung out with like a bad crowd and stuff. And I'm not at all saying that, 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 uh, wearing those clothings, that those brands are making people bad people, nor am I claiming claiming any rights to any of those brands I just just mentioned because I have no rights to those brands because um, I know that nowadays people get sued sometimes if they mention a brand or on when they're talking or if they show it their logo or something but I just had to mention that I wore those kinds of brands of clothes and um, I I like to have the top dollar brands the what rich people wore and, and, um, you know, what every, just the trending brand, what everyone was wearing. So nonetheless, um, I started, uh, smoking marijuana and cigarettes and it just started out with just those. And then, um, and everyone says marijuana is a gateway drug and, um, it very well could be, but in my opinion, I like, I mean, I, I'm for marijuana. I, I believe it helps anxiety and depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, bipolar, um, schizophrenia, any mental illness you have, I believe that it helps. Um, I also believe that it helps with any sickness, headaches, um, cancer, any of that. But not everybody believes that stuff. That's just what I believe. But um, So, in my opinion, it's not a gateway drug, but... I did start out doing that, so it sounds kind of contradicting, but that's that's just how I feel about it. So I started smoking, I started smoking cigarettes and weed, I started doing coke and started, um, uh, you know, just dabbling with those things, um, 
and that was kind of it drinking marijuana a little cocaine and a little marijuana and that was it kind of for a little while in middle school now no I should have not been doing that stuff in middle school and my parents should have been paying attention to what I was doing um but I just explained kind of why they didn't have time to pay attention to what I was doing. We, I have tons of brothers and sisters. Nonetheless, so um, I uh, wanted to go to a party. And so I went to a party, um, got drunk, and to, and like did a little coke and weed and all that mixed together. I was cross-faded, as people say nowadays, or whatever. I was doing a bunch of stuff at once, and not cool at all, and I got, you know, I just didn't know what I was doing, or really where I was at, really, and I wanted to go home. So, um, a friend of the family that my family knows, I'm not going to say the name, I'm not going to go into any more detail than that. I'm not going to say um, what the person looks like or any of that. Hold on a second. Sorry, I had to get myself together. So, um, Nonetheless, uh, it was a friend of the family. I'm not going to go into any great detail or anything like that, but like what the person looked like or anything. Plus, it's just going to get me all upset and stuff. Um, but uh, that person was supposed to give me a ride home and be a trustworthy person. And he wasn't because um, I ended up being raped by him. Um, he was just doing some really strange, uh, touching around my feet and holding my hands down and, uh, and he raped me. So, um, hold on a second. So, um, after that, um, I, I... I just remember kind of just feeling scared, lost, not knowing what to do, not knowing who to call, um, didn't want to tell anybody what happened. I walked home. I ended up walking home and I didn't tell my parents until I was 18 because I didn't want them to call the police and I didn't want anybody knowing what happened to me. So, um, sorry. So, sorry. So I, um, just was alone. Didn't have anybody to talk to because I felt like, first of all, no one would believe me. Second of all, no one would feel like it was everyone would feel like it was my fault because I was drinking and I wasn't in a place where I was supposed to be. So that's why I felt like it was my fault. I wasn't in a place where I was supposed to be. And, uh, um, if I wasn't there doing those type of things, I know that, um, maybe that could have never happened. So that's why I feel like, um, it was my fault. Uh, but never feel that way because I've had therapy over time and it's not my fault. It's not your fault. Any woman who's gone through this, um, it's their fault for thinking dirty thoughts, for um, doing what they did for no reason at all. Um, nobody deserves that to happen to them. And um, those are normal feelings is what I was ta not taught but talked to about. Um, with a therapist and um, a psychologist, those are normal thoughts to have, feeling like it's your fault and not wanting to tell anybody. And this is my first time ever um, talking about it publicly or really for a long time, um, as a matter of fact. 
So, um, time went on and, uh, other things happened to me. The, the, my oldest daughter's dad, I was with him for four years and after a while there was a lot of domestic abuse and mental abuse and, uh, there was times that he would do that to me when I wouldn't want to and I would have to lay there and let it happen. And I called the police one time because I was tired of him doing that to me, justifying it because we were together and we had a child and the cop wouldn't listen to me. He told me to shut up when I was crying to him about what was going on and told me it was a civil matter. That's what I was told. That, that was a civil matter. You know what, you guys? That's not a civil matter. That's rape. It doesn't matter if you're with the person. It doesn't matter if um, you have a child with them. If you say no, no is no, that's rape. Um, and I get very still mad about that because I can't believe that cop wouldn't listen to me. Um, and then an another time something happened to me, there was this kid, um, I was single, I was kind of seeing him and, uh, we were doing things together and, uh, one night he had me handcuffed and, um, we were messing around and I told him, stop, I don't want to be handcuffed anymore. And he wouldn't take the handcuffs off of me. He slapped me across the face a few times, spit in my face, turned me over, and was shoving um, bottles um, and beer bottles inside me. Um, and I still have yet to figure out what I'm going to do about um, him and the situation because... Um, I didn't tell anybody because this was a friend that a lot of my friends were friends with and um, uh, this didn't happen too long ago. This was only like seven years ago. So um, I was conf conflicted about it and confused about it because I wasn't knowing if I should report it or if it was even rape because we were seeing each other though. Um, I know I said a, set a little bit ago about my daughter's dad doing that to me and that it shouldn't matter but I was more conflicted with this person because I, at first it was a mutual um uh um intimate thing I wanted to do it but then towards the end I wasn't wanting to anymore because there it was kind of getting violent and um I was being thrown around and stuff so I I after I thought about it I feel like that was rape too um, so I don't, I don't know. Um, but I told my husband about it and I think we're going to take, um, action on that. So, but, um, I, I want to let all the women out there know that if you were raped or sexually molested in any type of way, I want you to know that there's people that you can call. There's therapists that will help you. Your family doctor will help you. There's counselors that will help you. There's friends and family that will help you and support you if you do reach out and you tell them what happened. Because they won't make fun of you. They won't fault you. They'll understand. And um, like I said in my last video about mental illnesses, molestation and rape are being more and more talked about more today than ever too. Not just because... I think really every subject is actually starting to become um, just everything's out on the table really nowadays. Um, but uh, you got to talk with each other. There's um, recovery groups even too, like, the, like there is AA meetings that you can go to where there's other women that went through the same thing you have and you can all get together and talk and about what happened and the feelings that you had. Um, so... I wanted to share my story um, for that reason, to let you know you're not alone, um, and I just wanted to get my story out there, and I I am going to be writing about this. Um, I'm going to be going into greater detail, a little bit of greater detail in my book about all my YouTube videos that I've been making. I'm going to end up writing a book about it. I'm in the middle of it right now. 
Um, I'm going to have it published whenever I finish it. Um, I'm not going to put pressure on myself, but, um, so that's where my post-traumatic stress disorder, um, and anxiety started kicking in was after that happened to me when I was a kid, when I was 13, I, you know, I felt like that was my fault for so long. And then having that happen to me was such a traumatic experience that, I started having depression. I started having anxiety. I told my mom the depression and anxiety, and she she suffered from mental illnesses herself, so she got me on medications. But, um, uh, and it got a little better after that, but not too much better because I was still kind of doing street drugs with my antidepressants and stuff, which you shouldn't, you should not do. You shouldn't do that anyways, but you shouldn't do, um, so, but, you know, I don't, I, I, you're not alone. And I made this video to stand strong for the people, the women or men or men, you know, men, a lot of people don't include men on, on a situation like this, but men too, I'm going to say men and women too, or, you know, any, um, gender at all. You're all included, everybody. It's it's a serious thing. Um, you can reach out to people. You're not alone. It's not your fault. Um, we can all get through this together. And the stories, if you guys have any that you want to share, obviously you don't have to go into great t detail. You don't even have to tell your story, but... Um, if you want to relate about anything, about feelings even, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. But um, this was a, a really hard topic for me to come out and talk about and I didn't really want to, but um, I decided to, what the heck, go ahead and do it and, um, you know, let my story be known. So um, I just wanted to let you guys know that and um, have a good day and tomorrow I will be on with another life topic. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and supporting me.